In recent times, there's been much publicity on male sexual enhancement capsules. Now, these claim to enhance male sexual prowess. Well, I cannot confirm or deny that. However, research shows that there's increasing microbial contamination in these capsules. There's a lot of ads on these particular drugs. They are always talking about how these drugs can help improve um, sexual prowess in men. So I've read somewhere in some um, research article published by one Mr. Cambogian, some um, one other lecturer from um, College of Science, that um, herbal drugs usually contain some level of contamination, some level of microbial contamination. So I thought to myself, if these drugs are being advertised so much, then that means there's a high patronage for these drugs. So I wanted to see if um, there are any herbal uh, microbial contaminations in these drugs because they are also herbal um, medicine. We used five samples. Um, we used five samples and in it we found that two of the samples had high levels of microbial, uh, microbial contamination. In fact, they were, they were above the limits set by the European pharmacopoeia. Yeah, so in that we isolated the various strains of uh, microbes in, in their samples and then we characterized them. So we found eight bacterial strains and three fungal strains. Staphylococcus aureus is a bacteria that is predominantly found on um, human bodies. We all have it. It's found on, in our skin, in our noses, in our ears in fact, all over the body. So if there was any form of contamination from the people interacting with the drugs, like the manufacturers, the people involved in the actual manufacturing of the drug, then that would have, shown, that would have been shown by the uh, be, uh, scoring positive for the staph aureus test, but there was no staphylococcus aureus grown in any of the samples. That shows that the people involved actually are not the ones causing the contamination, but the contamination is from it's external from the um, raw materials that are used in the production of the herbal medicines. The researchers recommend that the Ghana Standards Authority, as well as the FDA, put in place checks to ensure that these drugs are wholesome before they are made available on the market. For Joy News, Dr. Netta Pasram.